everyone, welcome to Build Your Own. My name is Gagan and I am here to continue the discussion of embryology. In our last video, we discussed about the gonad development, how the gonads are developed and we discussed about gametogenesis, separately spermatogenesis and oogenesis. Now, in today's video, we will discuss about the next step which is fertilization. Okay, so let's start. What is fertilization? Fertilization is the fusion of male gamete and a female gamete and when they fuse together to form a zygote, this process is called fertilization. But before that, I want to remind you that after fertilization, as we discussed in last video, the secondary oocyte undergoes meiosis too. I told you in last video that only if the secondary oocyte is fertilized, then it will go under meiosis too. Otherwise, it will not go in the, under meiosis too and it will simply ovulate during menstrual cycle. And before fertilization, the spermatozoa undergoes two main processes which are capacitation and acrosome reaction. So now what is capacitation? Capacitation is the removal of certain proteins from the spermatozoa which makes it activated. Okay, so it is removal of proteins in order to make it activated. An acrosome reaction is the release of hydrolytic enzymes. Hydrolytic enzymes. These hydrolytic enzymes penetrate zona pellucida of ovum. And when this penetrates into zona pellucida, then the sperm can go inside and they can fuse together and the process of fertilization occurs. Okay, so once the fertilization stage has occurred. The next stage will be cleavage. The very important point here is that fertilization occurs in the ampulla in the ampulla part of uterine tube. This is very important. Ampulla part of uterine tube. We saw that the male and female gametes fuse together to form a zygote. This zygote will undergo mitotic division mitotic division this is very important and it will f at first form blastula this is two cell stage then after further mitotic division it will form first cell uh, stage which is also called blastula in this case just see that there is an th there is an increase in number of cells increase in number of cells because of mitotic division there is no increase in size. Size is not increased, only number of cells are increased due to mitotic division. And after this divisions, after further consequent divisions, there will be a structure called morula. Morula is a 32 cell stage. After this, when the morula forms a fluid fill cavity inside it, this structure is called blastocyst okay so after this this blastocyst is further consisted of two parts embryoblast and trophoblast this is a very simple topic in em embryoblast this is called inner cell mass and this is called outer cell mass. Embryoblast, as the name suggests, it helps in formation of embryo. And this trophoblast is further subdivided into cytotrophoblast, syncytiotrophoblast. This cytotrophoblast helps in implantation. This syncytiotrophoblast secretes HCG, which is called human chorionogonadotropin. This hormone confirms that the pregnancy has occurred and this also retains the corpus luteum we know that corpus luteum secretes progesterone which hel progesterone helps in, the, in in retaining the endometrial lining so that the implantation can occur so this was all about fertilization and cleavage as we discussed the summary of today's video we discussed at first about fertilization. Fertilization is the fusion of male and female gamete to form a zygote and this process happens in the ampulla of uterine tube. After that, 
cleavage occurs. Cleavage is the mitotic division of zygote into blastula of two cell stage, then after that four, four cell stage, then after that 32 cell stage, which is called morula. When the morula forms a fluid filled cavity, it is called blastocyst. And after blastocyst, it is divided into two main parts, embryoblast and trophoblast. Embryoblast helps in the formation of embryo. And trophoblast, which is called outer cell mass, is further divided into two main parts, syncytiotrophoblast and cytotrophoblast. Cytotrophoblast helps in implantation of the embryo. But syncytiotrophoblast secretes human chorionogonadotropin, which is uh, a confirmation test for pregnancy, which is secreted in the urine, by the urine. So it confirms pregnancy and it also retains corpus luteum. Corpus luteum is a structure which releases progesterone hormone and the progesterone hormone's function is to retain the endometrial lining so that the implantation is okay. So this was all about today's topic. Our next topic will be the next stages of the embryology. Thank you for watching this video. You, you guys are amazing. Thank you for all the support and please keep sharing and keep subscribing. Thank you so much.